Hi guys! How are you today? Today we will learn about class kick activity. How can we use class kick? But you need to try your best to use a computer. If you're using iPads, it's okay, it does work. If you're using uh, any mobile or smartphone applications, it will work as well, as long as you have Teams and a browser. But for the tools, it will be look a little bit different. So just follow up with me and I'm using a computer for this uh, activity. All right, you're going to go to Teams and you're going to go to my team, which are, you're, in, you're in that class. So for example, if you're in 3A, you will click on 3A team. You, you should search for this link. It's called Class Kick. Class kick activity is done once per week. If I send you this link, it means we will go to our class during uh, during your class time with me. You go here. Once I tell you, of course, you will click on the link. Okay. And you will see this page and the code is there. You need to start working with me. So you will type your name. Every time you go to this class kick, you have to type your exact name. I will type my name Rima S and I will click go. When I click go, the worksheet that Miss Rima, which is me, prepared for me will be ready here for me. Now look at this. I have to read the instructions and of course Miss Rima will show you the instructions later as well. You need to use this tool. You have these tools over here that you can use to send to the teacher. So uh, you need to use this tool because I asked you here also to use it. So use shift key with numbers. Okay, I will put for you shift key in your keyboard. You have all of the shift keys here. So we are learning how to use shift key in this lesson. So that's why we need to read instructions that I send you. So you're going to use shift key with numbers to make amazing symbols. This is the, the text, tool that, uh, text tool Sorry, you're going to use. And then you're going to use it from the above text box. And you're going to do something like this. Let's do it. I will do it and I will show you what Miss Rima will see. Okay, I will click on the text toolbox that I said here. And I will make a text tool like this. Just like this, as simple as that. Now I will work with my keyboard. So we said we're going to use a shift key. I press shift first and then start pressing the symbols. You can see the symbols in the numbers at the top in your keyboard. Uh huh. See, this is one and two. If I press shift one and two, it will look like this. If I press shift three and four, it will look like this. If I press I'm making a pattern. Oopsie, I made a wrong pattern. I made a wrong one. Yeah, now it's better. If I press 5 and 6, it will look like this. If I press 7 and 8 with shift, of course, it will look like this. See, I'm doing. If I had a mistake, please use backspace to fix it. So, this is another pattern. And this is my last pattern. Now, if you finish this, you're going to tell your teacher, I finished doing my pattern. What do I do next? You can, of course, do another pattern. Let's make another text tool. And I will make another one here. And then I will do patterns like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 0, I mean. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. So you've got many ways. And don't forget, you can scroll down and up. Now, what do Miss Rima see in this moment? Miss Rima will go to the work. Miss Rima will go to the work and will see that, oh, Rima is working. And Miss Rima can also open it and check it out. And look, I can see everything. I will give, I will give her a sticker. Where are my stickers? Okay, I will give amazing job. Mm -hmm. So if the student will open it and will see amazing job in his work. So I really hope you enjoyed class kick. And I really hope you enjoy my uh, activities during class. Try to practice this. Even if it's for the first time, you will get used to it and it's going to be fun for you. Thank you very much, guys.